Well, I know you said that you appreciate USC, and, and I get it because the people in the documentary, they also said that the, their school, they still have nothing but respect for, mm -hmm. but it was a very excruciating process. And one of the teachers even said, well, if you think this is difficult, try being out in the real world. For so sure. it was like this sort of like breeding ground, like, okay, who's gonna make it, who's not? Yeah, yeah. And some people didn't make it. And I was wondering how that was for you, because it sounds like you have a very supportive family and you came from a supportive um, college where you had your four-year degree? Or? Yeah, four-year degree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how, what advice would you give to someone that's coming here that they know that this is just part of what they have to go through? It's not intentional. They're not yeah. trying to be mean, but. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, my advice, I, I think, would just be to not quit because it's super easy to get discouraged and to feel bitter and to feel like, oh, these people don't get me. They don't, you know, and stuff like that. But the the great part is that like it does it does force you to examine what you're doing, to examine your intention in your work, and to sharpen it so it's the clearest, most precise version of what you're trying to do. And uh, and when you when you realize uh, like when you when you take your ego out of the process, and you and you go into a note session thinking like okay I'm just here to get information, that information is so I can improve my work. It's not not going there to get validation that you're that you're good at what you do. Uh, it's it's not that's not what that process is for. This is like a process of of like whittling you know whittling a a, a stick into something sharp you know. Uh, and then when you're done with that whittling process, then you can you can sort of release it into the world and have it be uh, something that you're proud of, hopefully. And and that process is so critical because I when, when I think about how I used to work as an artist, but uh, as a creator before my film school experience, I would just like you know if I was going to make a, a short, which I made a short before I went to school. And I made one cut, and that was it. I was like, "Oh, cool, I'm done." Like, I because it's right there. I did it, you know. But then, like, you realize that, like, in film school, that's where you begin. That's where the work starts. Is on your first try, on your first try, where you thought you you crushed it, and you realize, "Oh, I actually didn't crush it at all." <laughs> and that that sense of uh, kind of humility that comes with the craft. Is like a really beautiful place to be in. At, at least I, I feel that way, and um, just I, I, I now love that process. And uh, but it's unfortunate. I actually saw some of my friends uh, didn't make it through the program, like uh, because like they they were getting so much harsh feedback. I think they thought they started to take it personally, and they started to think like, well, nobody gets what I'm doing, and so they dropped out of the program, and that's really unfortunate. Um, I mean, like, I, I'm not saying that that staying in, everybody has their own path, so maybe that was best for them. But when I wanted to quit, I'm really, really, really grateful that I didn't. Because it would have, if I would have quit, like, right after that note session where I, where I wept bitterly, um, I would have relieved myself of some short-term pain, but I, I wouldn't be nearly the filmmaker that I am right now. And, and the great part also about the notes process is it, it sort of it keeps you humble in the sense that you realize that that there's so much that you don't know and there's so much to be explored um, that like the the journey of becoming quote a good filmmaker or a good writer is a lifelong process and wherever we are in the process that's just where you are and I'm grateful that like I feel like I'm I'm just now to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try something new. And I might fail, but uh, I've, I've gotten through failure before and I'm still here. So I know that I can get through it.